sketchbook tour time. Welcome to my 2008 Sketching Florence sketchbook. Here's little baby college age Jessica over 10 years ago in Florence, Italy for a semester. This was a very special sketchbook for me. I started out here in pencil sketching a statue of Dante Alighieri. And of course in Florence, everywhere you go, there's something gorgeous to draw. But this whole course that I was taking was all about interpreting the city through sketching. Definitely what you would call urban sketching these days, although with a more educational twist. And this particular page tells such an important story for me. I spent about three hours sketching Dante here, which was great, sitting in a piazza, uh, the Piazza de Santa Cro Croce. This was one of the, the last pencil sketches that I basically did. And you can see why I don't like pencil as much anymore these days. You can see the residue that the graphite leaves behind. Of course, I did fix this, but even with that, uh, you still get a lot of smudging. However, I was very happy with my drawing. And part of this particular assignment was to draw a map from our school building using no words, showing how you would get to this image that <laughs> is drawn. So from the school past the trees, you get to this corner um, and right down the street from my art school was Dante here. We were asked to draw the interior of our room. Here we are learning one point linear perspective and very scratchily drawing um, one of the piazzas in Florence. You can see the Duomo back here. Here we were considering more and more um, perspective shots, looking down some arcade streets and you know, if you're in a city like Florence, there's just incredible architecture masterpieces all over the place. So it's a really glorious place to go and sketch for a few months. If you can find the time, I believe this is connected to Ponte Vecchio or nearby it anyway. And I was really learning at this phase in my artistic career <laughs> how to draw from life. What I really love looking back on this sketchbook are all of the little kind of souvenirs and moments of this experience of studying abroad, which was so formative in my life. So I got a pass to the Boboli Gardens. I'm still working in pencil <laughs> in my safe place. And it must have been around this moment that our teacher challenged us to move to pen only, which was really hard for me, she said from now on. No more pencil. You're never going to be a good artist if you have to stop and erase all the time. You need to be comfortable making the first mark, drawing in pen. And from here on out, I really attempted and started doing my best um, working with pen, sometimes being very loose in other areas where I wanted more focus, um, spending more time and drawing more carefully. Here I used, to, used a pen and ink wash. Of course, just walking around the city, um, I would see little scenes and sometimes I would use these glue in moments of a, a photograph or a ticket to cover ugly drawings. I don't want you to think that this is like flawless. It's definitely not a flawless sketchbook, but um, I really tried to optimize <laughs> using distractions to keep attention away from any bobos. Oof, got personal. This was like my ex from that era in my life. So it really did capture a sense of time and place. Um, and I began to work more as I connected more with this sketchbook by journaling. Here's me writing about the experience of seeing a fresco. Lots of little details, really falling in love with, um, with all of the incredible artistry in every inch of Florence. This was at the grotto in the Bobley Gardens, playing around with watercolor. I went ahead and just taped right in there some of the descriptions, which is great because now I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I need to learn more about it. Here's me drawing it, whatever it is. Ah, yes, and this page brings back memories. These are letters from friends and we would often go to this jazz club and I'd be sitting there with a glass of wine um, 
in a very darkly lit room listening to jazz but painting these really bright colors and I'd come home later and see what they looked like. And this is a fabulous assignment, no matter what city you're in, drawing the doors of a city. So you can really see the variety of uh, architecture in Florence from the very modern and even kind of an art deco look here, um, all the way back to more ancient doors. So I believe our assignment in this page was to show the passage of time in a sketchbook. And I chose to do so with the drawing doors from falling apart, ancient wooden doors, kind of medieval looking doors, all the way through the Renaissance and into the modern time. Learning to work better with charcoal, finding the full range of light to dark. It's the Rape of the Sabine Women, incredible sculpture. I'm still feeling safer drawing with pencil here, I can tell. And toned paper really changed my life in this era. This is when I started working with, of course, white charcoal and dark. And when you're especially in a rush, like not having to worry about your middle tones and being able to bring out intense highlights and, and dark tones. Fountain of Neptune, I believe. Dear friends, here's baby Jessica. Um, all the events, art exhibits, um, shows I went to, really brings back wonderful memories. Here's Rebel Jessica. Now with her nose ring, I went to this <laughs> uh, nose ring shop. And here we are checking out the fourth largest cathedral in the world, the Duomo of Florence. And this was an incredibly meaningful um, assignment. We were told to spend some time sitting. I would stop and write down exactly what I heard the tour guides talking about because I would post myself up just right in the middle of the courtyard in front of um, the Duomo, the big du dome in Florence, and I would draw. And as I was sketching, I'd hear all of the history um, as tour guides would walk by. Of course, we have the Campanile, the bell tower here. And I went ahead and included sections of a brochure from visiting there. But what makes this page really special is this fold-out aspect. Here's inside, a little interior view here. And it just keeps opening. Another interior view. This is me meditating and writing about the experience of being there. But it all opens up to this <laughs> enormous, maybe too big for the screen, sketch of the Duomo of Florence. So you can see I really spent a lot of time on this one. And what made it feel special and energetic and exciting was this treatment of the crowd as a scribbledy, colorful kind of blob. The movement of the intense crowds kind of, um, I had fun expressing it with splatters and scribbles, not drawing exact people, but just allowing the focus to stay up here on the facade and perhaps also over here in the back of the actual dome part of the Duomo. However, this definitely adds it some great spice to it. Very special painting for me. It lives inside this sketchbook. The page has completely fallen out by now. Uh, yes, I remember I got this done by a vendor, you know, one of those artist types who hangs out in crowded places with lots of tourists. <laughs> and he saw me sketching and wanted to um, include a little art in my sketchbook. So that was really cool. Ah, uh, yes, here's the actual assignment. Observe and record Piazza del Duomo. So moving on. <laughs> Here I have my finalized drawing of the Rape of the Sabine Women. You have just a, a gallery of incredible artwork everywhere you go in Florence. Didn't finish every page here. My friend Lisa drew that, it wasn't me. Here is a sketch from the Boboli Gardens. I was feeling very inspired there, as you can probably tell from the colors, playing around with new watercolor materials. 
good friend happened to be there at the same time. And here I am experimenting more with ink and different mediums that were new to me. Again, did I mess up? Yes. Did I glue heaps of paper over it to fix it? Yes. Ooh, you remember that breakup? This was like a expressive page of getting my emotions out. That was a tough one, but you know, 13 years later, it's all good. <laughs> um, hanging out, practicing portraiture. I had two best friends that uh, were my roommates at the time, and I just practiced drawing their facial features. I believe this is in the Chapel of the Medici. Hanging out, drawing on um, the steps of different churches or in gardens. Definitely the urban sketching experience before I knew what urban sketching was. This is wine. <laughs> uh, did I mention I was in my very early 20s? Because we were definitely out and about sketching the scenes of the nightlife. You can also see the quality of the sketch is getting worse and worse um, that particular evening. This technique I love. You start with a loose watercolor wash, you know, get some interesting texture going on there. And then I went back on top of these and drew in pen. So I didn't ever get around to finishing this page. Here's some different sculptures and oh my god, the Venus with the long neck, one of my all-time favorite paintings. Got to draw that here. This is a sculpture. There's Lorenzo de Medici. This guy got squinched. But here we have that effect working on top of watercolor with pen. This is a street view looking at El Duomo. Sketching a practice drawing. I turned this into an oil painting actually. That's just a photo from the Bobley Gardens. Planning out composition. Still learning how to watercolor here. More Bobley Gardens. And this was a sketch for a series of prints that I made and I have a bunch of copies of, but they're the only ones in color and I do really love these guys. My two good friends from Florence, here's us sitting around on top of a hill somewhere and a cheesy pickup line, <laughs> some Italian guy said while we were hanging out there, you know what I see in your eyes? My future. <laughs> studying the figure and I believe at this point this is where we were challenged to go around and draw people in motion but <laughs> after sketching this line here I started trying to draw people while they were moving this is the first time I ever did this I was not happy about it but that was the assignment so sitting at a cafe here. I would try and just draw bit by bit the people I saw around me as quickly as I could. You can see that I don't have the confidence that I do now, if you're familiar with my present day sketches, uh, especially with portraiture. But at the time, I was really proud of this. It was a big improvement from only drawing in pencil, stopping to erase. The speed is what really changed uh, after going through this process. Instead of spending three hours, like I told you, with the uh, Dante sculpture in the beginning. I was able to draw each of these in probably 20 minutes or so, maybe like 30 tops. Of course, drawing the figures quickly was really hard. And I can see I didn't know all that I do now about um, proportion. But this is how you get better is by a lot of funky drawings. And I wanted to show this off because I think um, it's important to see the process. This is a sweet letter from my dear friend. The assignment from the professor to draw these people in environments, people in motion. Here are a couple different watercolor scenes of the Ponte Vecchio in different times of day. And at night. And in long last, our final page, collage. Uh, these were food collages just to express, you know, how full you feel after <laughs> spending a lot of time in Florence, Italy. So there you have it. Um, this was a very formative sketchbook for me. I grew a lot. I look back on this and I can see how much better I've gotten by now. And please keep your sketchbook so you can look back and one day see how much you've grown in your drawings.